I rated your favorite waifus by Cinder VTuber. Hey, Pyro Pups! Earlier this month, I asked you guys to submit your anime and gaming waifus oh, to be ranked in a tier list and organized by my own opinions. So, let's go over the tier list! Here we are. Starting from the top, we have our ultimate waifu! Ah! Next, a little oh. bit down the list is best girl. Not quite ultimate waifu, but still solid. Next, I give him a smooch tier. You know, just a little something. Right, Next, we sense. have beach episode worthy. If they look good in a bikini episode, you Got know what em. I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Mid tier, I <eye> roll. <laughs> Next, we have trash, garbage even. Garbage even. <laughs> and finally, send them to the do not post channel and have their PP exploded. <laughs> Oof, solid F tier. I love it. I also appreciate the Pokemon. Uh, I think that's what XD Gala Darkness battle theme. I think it's XD specifically. I, I love it. I love hearing it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Didn't that sell out like twice? <laughs> like, like there's been tweets about it selling out. It's done very well. Ooh. Boop. Is this fate? It's Winter on the poster. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was looking. Based Wind Waker theme. At the girl, not reading. I don't know much about Rin. She's a tsundere. Okay, is that it? Oh, she's a magic tsundere. She looks cute. So we will put her. She's gonna go to smooch her mid. Her under the smooch. Next. Nice. Frederick der Grobe. Fre Frederick. Huh? She's German. Oh, oh no, I'm butchering that. I I'm glad I didn't attempt to say that because I absolutely would have butchered that name. I fucking love the rigging. Is that what it's called? Oh, same girl. We both have a, like such good rigging. We will put her under the best girl category. Okay. She's even got like a bouquet of flowers. She's ready to get married. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Your wife is a fucking Lego? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Hey. Don't don't knock Legos, okay? Not from the waifu standpoint, but man, Lego Racers, one of the hardest racing games I've ever played. Lego Racers on the 64, okay? That that is built different. What this? It's a Lego! <laughs> bricked up. No. <laughs> the Lego bricked up. <laughs> this feels like it's mean. <laughs> this also feels mean. <laughs> Shadow Hearts? Looks like a Pyro Pup favorite, huh? Okay, but like personality. She's goth! <laughs> she worships an evil goddess because she's totally clueless about how evil said goddess is. <laughs> I'll put her in beach episode. A hot Fair. beachy Fair. goth? Mm-hmm. Oh, Faye! The girl or the dog? The fucking woman, dude! <laughs> Okay, big question. Is the corgi hers? No. She's mean to the dog? Oof, <gasps> trash. Unacceptable. Fact. <gasps> to be. Oh boy, here we go. T t t t the, fun the funny android. Funny android gonna be top three, right? She is a robot, but like wood. Let's go. Wood. There All the way to the top. Oh, is this Asuka? Okay, don't cancel me. I haven't seen Evangelion. Wait, she's a child! I'm gonna be honest, yeah, dude. Like, even you're not missing much by not watching Evangelion. There's gonna be people. Kip, what do you mean? Evangelion was a great psychological anime. I mean, sure, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it had its, it had moments. It had its moments, but uh, <laughs> the whole. Th <laughs> the whole plot revolves around getting the robot child. <laughs> child then receives PTSD <laughs> from not only fighting aliens, <laughs> but also really awful adults. <laughs> it was okay to me. It was okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, sure me. No I don't know who she is either, but I also love her. I would smooch her, but I also really want to see her in a beach episode. She crushes your head between her thighs. No nice. Way. Beach episode. I'm doing a- Yeah, I agree. Beach episode status. That makes a lot of sense, actually. All a huge favor. Oh, boy. Arlecchino. Arlecchino. Macchiato. Artichoke. Let's go. I don't- So she's like evil villain. Kind of like the evil ones. She wields a scythe. 
Does、We she... can turn father into mommy, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this Polo? Every image of her is absolute precious baby girl, so it's not even a fing question. Not haven't actually seen Spice and Wolf. I tried watching the first one. I got like one episode in and I just couldn't. I hear it's really good though. And I hear the follow up, the,、uh, the times after the time skip. I hear it's actually really good. I haven't actually seen it. We're, we're going to get into Kip. Why have you, how have you not seen these anime? Kip, how have you, do you know who these characters are? I am really picky when it comes to anime, okay? I, I got spoiled really early with things like Code Geass and Gundam 00 with really deep plots and, you know, that just fling like really heavy themes at you, right? You know, calling the Japanese 11s just right out the gate, right? We already, we already have some pretty heavy topics coming into play here. <laughs> so, like, I just I can't enjoy stuff like Two Love Rue anymore. I can enjoy High School of the Dead, right? Because I can turn my brain off, right? I can turn my brain off and I can enjoy it. But like, anime is, it used to be so different. You have to understand. Like, anime used to be, back in my day, no, anime used to be different because we had what? Trigun, Full Metal Alchemist, not Brotherhood, Full Metal Alchemist, which deviated from the manga, Bleach, Naruto. One Piece, Dragon Ball, like we had a lot less choice than we did nowadays. And that's not to say that, you know, all of the stuff nowadays is, tr is trash. No, absolutely not. But I'm very picky when it comes to anime, and you have to sell me on it. The fing cutest. <laughs> I love her! Okay, what's next? Oh, Akron. Oh, oh, yeah, I saw the trailer. She's bad with directions. Oh my gosh, wait, me too! <laughs> And forgetful? Wait, she kind of like me for real. Oh, Miss Ada Wong. She kind of sassy. So I feel like Beach episode. Like she. I have been biased towards Ada for a long time, though. But to be fair, strong female personality with gun. Grats. <laughs> <laughs> you've solved you've solved the Kip conundrum. Strong female personality with weapon. You're we're we're, we're good. Sell it. Print it. It's really cool and badass. But then you also get kind of frustrated sometimes when she shows up. <laughs> It's like your brain tells you、mm -hmm. no, but then your body says、no. yes. <laughs> Honestly, I loved her. The issue that I had in the in the Resident Evil 4 remake, as somebody that's played you know RE4 for years, somebody that you know went into the RE4 remake like it, the English VA for Ada Wong, I think, got a lot of flack because some of the takes, wh whoever was like the sound director, whoever was responsible for what takes what actually made it to the final cut, they chose some really weird takes. Like some of Ada's lines are great, some of her reads. Just miss the mark by a mile. And yeah, you could argue I'm maybe biased towards the old VA. I have no issue with the new VA. I think there are great things that the new VA does. It's whoever's picking and choosing which takes make it to the final. That's who I have an issue with. I feel like they really didn't do Ada any sort of service in, in the remake. Oh, um, is this Aerith? Super pretty. What's like a bit about her? She's a flower girl. She hits a guy over the head with a folding chair.、Nice. Okay, hell yeah. We're putting her in smooch tear. So who's next? Who's next? Another Azerlane girly? Ager. Is that how you say it? It is Ager. <laughs> She's horny. Nice. Oh, the horns. She has the horns. Yeah. Of course. yeah. <clears throat> Albedo, not to be confused with Genshin Impact Albedo. She's also horny. <laughs> kind of scary, but I would like to see her in a bikini. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. They have to be together. She's terrified of her hair. <laughs> the white hair character is true. Wait a minute. Got him. I'm not biased. Just because all of the waifus in Ultimate Waifu all have white hair, that does not mean I have a type. <laughs> Correlation is not causation. However, there's definitely strong evidence that all of these so far have white hair. <laughs> Classic. I mean, to be fair, I, it would be no different if I did a tier list like this. People would absolutely point stuff out, and I'd be like, damn it. <laughs> Anyways, next up, Vanessa from Black Clover. She's an alcoholic.、That. She'll be a really good drinking buddy. Kind of OP. Manipulates fate. This is introducing me to a lot of, a lot of series I got to get into. All my free time has been going to Minecraft lately. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Beach episode.、Mm -hmm. Who is this? She's beautiful. Kara from the beginning after the end. Oh, we will put her in under smooch. I've never heard of this. Never heard of that series. I don't know too much about her, but she is. She. She. 
Yeah. I love how the little thumbnail in the tier list is just like her legs. <laughs> I mean, she's designed well. If I have to give her that, she's designed well. Like, very aesthetically pleasing to look at. Not nah, solid design, honestly. Ella! Me? She is barefoot. Isn't no. she usually in armor, though? Oh, it's from the mobile game. I know she is very, like, mommy, and she's very boobalicious. So, wait, she rides a dragon? Oh! <gasps> We will put Camilla with the best girls. I I'm definitely biased. I like Camilla's design, especially the armor. I like her very much. Next waifu. <gasps> oh, it's my waifu. Maya, my beloved. She's a grand blue girly. She's got like a little butterfly kind of theme. She's got a katana. Amazing. Let's go next. I so I kid you not, I walked into a retro game store. No, no, no shit. There I was, right? Walked into a retro game store. We're listening to some Mario Kart music, right? The initial piano notes for Cynthia's theme started, and I froze. I stopped, and I just stared dead ahead. <laughs> I had to actually, like, stop for a second. I love Cynthia. Best champion out of all the Pokemon games. Best. Uh, that is actually a subjective argument, depending on what we mean by best. Why the upskirt shot, though? That's, I guess, why I, I'm, I'm not I'm not knocking it. I was not expecting it. I was not expecting this, but, you know, it's it's here. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I mean, it just depends. Like, there's there's arguments for competitively team, our most competitive team. There's arguments for um being the hardest trainer in the game for what you have access to like there's a number of ways that we can take uh best champion i'm definitely biased towards cynthia i like the meme of sun and moon right going to alola to go to the battle tree cynthia gets in she's carrying in her luggage and she collapses because you know gothic attire insulating and she's like god it's so hot here <laughs> Battle out of all the Pokemon games. Overrated? Because she's good! <laughs> it's like, how long did that game came out and people still remember it? And then I think about it, I don't know much about Cynthia's personality. She loves ice cream? <gasps> yeah. Yes, best girl. Chucky, my beloved. Like, she's not quite S, but she's like A, bordering on S for me, if that makes sense. She's like step below pinnacle. Okay, this is Chiaki Nanami from Super Danganronpa 2. So no every point. character in Danganronpa has a special ability and they're like the best at that one specific thing. And her special talent is being a gamer. So she's nice. the absolute best, most cracked f***ing gamer like ever. From just the games alone, I probably wouldn't rank Chiaki that high. But after watching the anime, best girl, Kafka. I don't know. I actually think Kafka gets really hyped up. Like B, B status, right? I think that's where I'd probably put, like, probably put her. I, I just like, I see the appeal. I understand the appeal. She has the Ada Wong, Wong effect of like that femme fatale personality. From everything I've just seen of Kafka, I don't feel like she kind of delivers, but I also don't know enough about her in, in, in Star Rail. I, I don't have enough context to really make a definitive thing. Like, yeah, she's like B tier. Aesthetically, she's great. I just don't. I don't get that return, if that makes sense. Oh, she kind of scary, but it's the kind of scary that makes me feel like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's called Femme Fatale. It's great. Oh, um, Estef. Oh, trust me, I've seen pictures of this woman before. Walking red flag. <laughs> okay, but like. <laughs> Walking red flag, my type. Good God. <laughs> you've seen her though. If flags are red, then I'm colorblind because the, <laughs> the green and red all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do beach episode. Tifa, right? Final Fantasy again. Her weapons are fists and kicks. She's a ride or die. I feel like she definitely has best girl energy. I'm like B or C tier on her, dude. B or C. I, I can't. She's vanilla is the word that comes to mind. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of seven. I've played Crisis Core a number of times on streams. And that's the end of the formative years of Tifa leading into why she hates Shinra, right? Some of her backstory. Nah, she, she's not she's not peak. I can't do it. But then again, I mean, Aerith isn't peak for me either. She has, you know, personality. I don't know. I guess I'm also just biased because I've heard nothing good about the Final Fantasy VII remakes. And especially because it, it it's, it's a different experience than Final Fantasy VII. 
So that's actually what's keeping me away from the remakes is I know it's a different experience. I know it spins off in its own plot lines. Allegedly, we even have Zack Fair back. And after Crisis Core, yeah, uh, I don't think I'm into that. I don't think I don't think I'm actually into playing the seven remake if, if Zach is just back because I think that completely invalidates the uh, the com- the the final sequence of Crisis Core. So I'm I'm definitely a little biased. She was in the Italian cockroach. Best girl from seven, clearly Scarlet. <laughs> oh, Keon. She was in the Italian. Go- yes, she. I forgot. She is best Italian senator from a uh, foreign policy standpoint. Yes, Tifa is objectively the best. She's a god. <laughs> She's a god that I'm praying to her. <laughs> <laughs> I give her a smooch. The Hestia. I remember when this blew up. <laughs> Best girl on the show. Damn. Is the show doing okay? <laughs> that Awful. string would be cutting off her f***ing arm circulation. <laughs> Let me give you yeah. guys some information, okay? The thing that's going on with her boobs right now is called quad boob. This usually happens when you're wearing a bra that's too small and it's cutting off like the top part of the boob, but it yeah. makes it look like you have four boobs. Quad boob, yay, more boob! So actually on this subject, uh. What is it? Kaisa, KD, Kaisa's KDA outfit, how she has the leather, right? But you can clearly see the booba, right? <laughs> From that material, I have it on good authority that that's not actually how that works. And that's actually how you get mono booba aesthetic, right? Because tight material in that area, it's not going to clearly define multiple things, but instead become one thing. <laughs> I have to really tread around words. Like, I've been around so many interesting conversations. Underwires suck, okay? Like, I, I, I don't envy women. I don't. Especially exposed underwires. I, I hear that that is, like, the actual worst thing. I don't know if it, it's probably worse than when you're wearing, like, a shirt and then your hoodie over it, but then your shirt sleeve gets rolled up, but your hoodie sleeve is still down. Dude, I hate that. Like, actually, like... Eyes glow red, it, it rage status. <laughs> I still feel like she'd look good in a in a beach episode. Nah, nah. <laughs> a kennel, high school DXD. I can't watch DXD. I hear that the the light novel is so much better. Like that, then that's the one thing. That's why I'm so like picky. Is that like watching Dead Man Wonderland? I remember when Toonami came back, right? And like. Watch Dead Man Wonderland. I thought it was great. I thought the intro was a banger for Dead Man Wonderland, but it ended just like, oh, cool. Hey, here's your here's the follow up into season two, and then we never got a season two, right? Like, I can't get into DXD because I have it on good authority that the light novels are so much better, and like, yeah. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> so I'm definitely biased in regard to DXD because anime, I probably will actually never touch. Isn't that like super fan servicey? Half angel, yeah. half demon? Okay, um. Isn't that actually funny though? Because relevant interjection, because the prior work that the author did before high school DXD, wasn't it some kind of like, like, uh, like dark plot line, dark, whatever. I don't remember what it was specifically, but like just one day he's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna make this now. It makes high school DXD. <laughs> Anything unique? <laughs> Lightning. Ooh. I think the beach episode. Eh. Who's Mid. this? Is that Yashtola? Oh, never mind. It's, good. it's okay. <laughs> that was just Yashtola from Hit Game Final Fantasy 14 <laughs> in her Shadowbringers outfit. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Lupina from Guardian Tales. She can magic wolves for attacks. I'd fight for her. I would give her a smooch. Jolene! <laughs> her outfit's not your type? This outfit's not your type, but... Dio? Yeah, that's more your style, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I still think she's cool, so I'm gonna put her in the beach episode category. Next waifu! I can see beach. Boom! <laughs> S, S right there, 100%. Astolfo wins. Astolfo wins the list. <laughs> yes, I know the hidden lore about this character. It takes a real man to be best girl. You're so right. Damn I straight. still don't know anything about Astolfo. Dresses. Uh, monster can. That's all the context that I know. Monster can. A girl, because I think it's cute, and they want to be cute, and they like cute things. Aww. There was actually a really big Twitter stink in the past couple of years about Astolfo being considered the best trans character 
and I, I I I had an aneurysm because that just there were so many conversations and so many arguments that spawned from that single viewpoint. And it's like one one of my favorite counterpoints to that is just like can't like Estolfo is a dude. Sometimes the dude just wants to feel pretty. Cool, send it. <laughs> God damn. No, that, that was a huge Twitter stink. It, it really was. And like that gets into I don't know, man. It's just it's I'm I'm trying my best to not get into macro arguments because it always devolves. There's always people that feel like I don't know. <laughs> If you want to take inspiration from Astolfo, go for it. I'm not going to say you can't. <laughs> when we start having arguments of, oh, well, Astolfo is, is trans when author material-wise, from everything that I've heard, everyone I've talked to, they're not. They're just and dude in, in not gender-specific clothing. Cool. <laughs> I, 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 think, uh, I, I think it's really just interesting... That, that's the interesting social construct to observe here. If that interests you, sure, go for it. Go on Twitter. Go go Google these posts, right? And then formulate your own opinion based on it. But it was a really weird argument to hear about on Twitter. I would smooch the femboy. Oh, isn't this the Scott Pilgrim chick? Uh, yeah, yeah, Ramona okay, Fars. <gasps> Akiza? Akiza? Akiza Izinski, who has very strong design correlation to Colin Kozuki or Colin Stotfield from Code Geass. S tier. Yes, I'm biased. <laughs> She has black rose dragon and it's so cool. There's something about her that gives me like baby girl energy. I'll put her in smooch. Next waifu! She's also traumatized. <laughs> Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Specifically old Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> because old Yu-Gi-Oh! We just, we just talk about trauma. The entirety of GX Season 3 was jaded getting traumatized. <laughs> And then coming to acceptance, like actual like self-actualization, acceptance, <laughs> accepting you, Bell. Wow, Luigi! Best girl. Why is his tongue doing that? Don't worry about <laughs> you it. You guys know where this is going. Each episode, let's go. I agree. Yeah! I, I can see that. I mean, wow, <laughs> wow, <Sorry. Boo. laughs> Yorichi, pretty woman. A or B tier. She has that charm. She has the aesthetic. I like it. Not quite us. Yes. <laughs> Look up Yorichi pose. Okay. Yorichi pose. Is it going to be like... Oh, wait a minute. Right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. I'll give her a smooch. Listen, I don't know much about her, okay? Fine, try to convince me. She was a cat with a male voice for 15 episodes, and then she shows up in human form. She was Ann Cat, and then she became Ann Woman. Dear God. Wait, I fucking love that. Next waifu! <gasps> yeah, that was that was an awakening for a lot of people. All I'm gonna say, like 100%, that was an awakening for so many people. Yeah. Uh, it's not even a question. I remember when I was a kid, I had this movie and I would always rewind the yeah. Hex Girl song. I would get up on my bed and pretend like it's a stage and I would perform. She did put a spell on me. <laughs> Urza! Urza! Urza who? Oh my God. So I actually had a conversation about uh, her armor and I guess it's like actually historically accurate. Like her plate skirt is like actually historically accurate. I think French 17th century armor. Plate skirts are based. Okay. I have a plate skirt. <laughs> I have to even see if I can find like a picture of my armor. I don't actually know if I have access to one, but no, I, I do in fact own a plate skirt. It is something that I absolutely love because it, it actually goes hard. It doesn't restrict movement as much as you think it would. Uh, the issue becomes little suspender strap kind of things that I have to wear uh, because very specifically they, they keep trying to fall off. So they fall to about where my uh, biceps and triceps are, which then limits my movement to which it's going to be really funny. We had to use modern, modern technology, right? <laughs> Old problems, modern solutions, that kind of thing. Um, we ended up coming to the conclusion. Are you ready for this? That the best way 
to fix that, I'm trying to find the dumb my glass channel on the other thing, on the other screen right now too. The best way to fix that is to quite literally take like a C clip and to effectively just put it on the back. So, grats, we have effectively retroactively created the plate skirt bra, or, or we've re recreated a bra for usage in combat, <laughs> which is just like, goddamn. <laughs> When you just when you think about it, you're just like, but like I'm running into this specific issue, and then you're just like, but how do we fix this specific issue? And then you're just like, wait a minute, did we just just recreate the bra as we know it in modern time? My God, <laughs> that was one of my very first cosplays ever so she she has a special place in my heart favorite armor i don't know you cannot go wrong with any of her outfits like any her of her armor skirt. sets they're just all so good heaven's wheel yeah never seen it yeah the one with the sword wings <gasps> looks cool yes looks cool looks a little too greek inspired for me uh not that i have an issue with greek inspired design i'm just a fan of that like french skirt design She's so pretty. And My personal favorite is the time skip when she's got that like cropped jacket with the zipper and the really long skirt. That's my favorite outfit of hers. Oh, fuck no. Robin, so good. Best girl. <gasps> Iris. I don't know who this, this is. This is hyperdimension Neptunia. This oh, okay, Neptunia. Yeah, I haven't actually played Neptunia. Like that's actually not something that I've actually played, which I hear it's good. I hear that the, uh, the series performs. <laughs> I don't know enough about it. So this kind of goes into the category of hot anime girls with big weapons, yeah. but they, they have like big wings and shit. And the wings are all like mech and like LED and super fucking awesome. Oh, Jing Liu, white hair so S tier, shut up. What? She's currently <laughs> fighting a corruption inside her that's trying to make her unalive, everyone. She's My a doomer God. girl. That's kind of hot. She fights kinda while hot. wearing a blindfold. There is no question. You can't get cooler than that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> due to re due to reasons outside of uh, being white hair, wink, wink. <laughs> due to reasons outside of white hair, <laughs> we are we are considering this S tier, dude. It's so good. I love it though. Actually, like, <laughs> what the? <fuck? laughs> oh my god, it's it's too good. My it's tier great. list is biased. That's kind of the nature of tier lists. Yeah, <laughs> okay. reasonably. Okay, oh. hear me out. She's no crazy, but she's so much fun to cosplay. This is Junko. Yeah, she's from Danganronpa. This is the most unfixable a woman has ever been. Yeah. I literally love her so much, but as a waifu, she's absolute trash. This pains me, but I have to be honest with myself. Ooh, she is beautiful. Cheha from Solo Leveling. Yeah. She's very much cinnamon roll, but could absolutely kill you. I love that. I would give her a smooch. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let's keep going. Okay, I had to actually find it. Give me, uh, give me a second to pull it up. So, uh, very specific. Wow, I actually bugged out my whole browser. That was actually kind of cool. So, I'm obviously not showing my face because I actually can't find one where I actually don't have my face visible. Um, but this is actually the armor that I fight in. It is like Ming Dynasty like plate. So, if you opened up the uh, open, if you opened up the straps, right. Uh, you would actually see uh, a bunch of plates, you know? So for every row where you have those little, like these little three triangle things right here, right? With my cursors on, every row of these is like a plate. So plate, 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 um, going all the way down. And uh, this, so the the actual coat ends ends about here. And then you have the skirt, which is about, you know, this is, this is the skirt right here. Uh, the plates are about, yeah, about here. And then... Trying to figure out if there's actually a distinct marker. So about here is the tie-in. And then from it, it's effectively uh, plates here, plates there. There's a little bit like of a V in the back. And then I have like suspenders that go up to my shoulder, uh, shoulders. So therefore, the issue becomes um, where you can see about right here where my cursor is, right? Um, I will have these straps go from my shoulder and they'll fall down to here. So effectively, we're running into the, the bra strap issue for an incorrectly sized bra, right? Or at least one of the issues. Get sized correctly, please. It will help so much. I have it on good authority. 
just just take that advice and run with it. Um, <laughs> so in order to prevent that from coming, you know, coming down to my bicep, because if it's if it's now here, it restricts my movement, right? So how we fix this is with strap here, strap here, around the back. We take a C clip across it perpendicular, and we try to keep them together. Oh my god, it's too good. <laughs> It's been too hot and I put on a little bit of weight, so I haven't been able to actually uh, get in my armor recently. The issue becomes mostly the heat because, good God, I will cook in this thing if you if uh, if given the opportunity. But uh, I I'm never uh, <laughs> never above the chance to show off my armor. Um, however, obviously, face not quite comfortable with that yet. That that's something that uh, may or may not happen at some point. Midnight Town. Oh, it's my waifu. No question. Not imp form specifically. Not imp form. Actual Midna. 10 out of 10. It's like the best possible reward you could get from beating a game. Also, She's... it's one of my all time favorite games. Yeah. So Based. I might be a little biased. Y'all got some good waifus. I'm excited. Is that just Kirby? 10 out of 10. <laughs> Who put the pink ball in waifu tier? In the waifu tier list? No! Oh. Do not the Kirby. <laughs> do not. Although. What that mouth do though? <laughs> what if Kirby ate a waifu? Become. Then would Kirby become waifu? It's like no. So if Kirby ate the waifu, it would gain an aspect of the waifu, but still be Kirby. It would just have a hat then, right? So if they say if Kirby ate Midna, Kirby would now get like you know kind of like cracked fuse shadow as as a helmet, right? That's the way that I see that. Like a ditto. <laughs> Why only have one pink ball when you can have two pink ball? Wait a minute. Fact. Nice. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait, I, wait, I didn't mean it like that. I meant like. No, I, I like where this is going. My <laughs> I didn't mean that. Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I won't be recovering from that one, especially not on the internet. Oh. No, the internet's actually fairly forgiving, if I'm being completely honest. The only people that care are the people that just. <laughs> they need supervision. Oh, Riza Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Yeah, I B, love her. B -tier. Such a baddie. Okay, honestly, probably like the best female character in this in the series. Ultimate waifu. Mithra, right? She's Sundari Cinnamon Roll. That's so cute. I will kiss. She seems like a sweet girl. Takemi. Persona, right? She's a goth doctor. <laughs> I think I'm I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> she feeds you strange medicine as part of her quest. <laughs> Insert your obligatory uh, 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 taking temperature meme. I'm sorry, but uh, you know I, I can't really do anything with my mouth right now. We're gonna have to find a different way of taking my temperature. <laughs> the meme writes itself. You're welcome. So she's like a sweet, caring nurse, but she's also dark and spooky. I'm going to put her in the beach episode. Oh wait, this is the other girl, right? <laughs> This is Pyra. Well, we got to put them together. <laughs> Next waifu. <laughs> Raiden Shogun. A, 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 a tier. She, she, I don't, I think if she had more characterization outside of Inazuma, because as far as I'm aware, we, we, we double back to Leeway consistently, right? So I finished Leeway. I have not done Inazuma and Genshin because I'm quest locked, right? And I have to actually play a lot of the game to get to Inazuma because I can't just cheese across the water anymore from what I hear. However, like... I've seen some of her arc, but it it seems like we just haven't gone back. She's she's like high B tier to A tier to not quite bordering on S tier. So she's somewhere at the top, but I can't quite find a spot tip for her because while I like her design and her and like, you know, that <laughs> that female strength we talked about previously with Ada, right? Even though she's not a femme fatale, like I like her. But she doesn't quite eke out that top spot. She can't cook, but she can pull a sword out of her titties. Yeah. Why can't I do that? I'm an anime girl. I've got limitations. Yeah. She's still an old. I mean, you could actually potentially tie that to different poses. So you could have model pose one, have a toggle. Like, so how I have like a uh, toggle for. That was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> That was definitely not what I wanted to do. Whoops! Um, I was gonna show toggles, but uh, yeah, that didn't happen. Um, but you could have like, like toggles for my like hat and stuff, like how I have my staff on right now. But just be tied to poses. You could hypothetically do that. Um, 
She can't cook, but she can pull a sword out of her titties. Why can't I do that? Best line. I'm an anime girl. I've got limitations. Yeah. She's still an ultimate waifu. Oh, automatically, ultimate waifu. Red Hood, precious. This is Rhea's. Wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Why does that just look like Fiendsmith Engraver from Yu-Gi-Oh? What do you mean? This is Rias, right? She's sweet. She looks sweet. I'm gonna put Rias in the smooch category. And once again, DXD. Not gonna actually probably watch the anime ever. If anything, I will pick up the light novel. <gasps> Fire skulls? Orin from Toho. Upon death, she takes your body to hell so you'll never reincarnate. Are there bodies in there? Smooch. That's what I was thinking. What if she smells like dead bodies? It's just a natural musk. You guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> Weiss? Yeah, from Ruby. Weiss? Weiss? Not even volume seven, Weiss? Weiss? Okay. No. Hold up. No. We're, we're doing this. We're, we're, we're doing this. Weiss Schnee, volume four. Like four, five, and six. Really? That's the one? Not. Not up oh, to. <laughs> not volume seven, like nightwise? Really? <laughs> not with the, the belts and stuff? I, maybe that's a holdover from Yu Gi Oh! Actually, now that I think about it. Maybe I like the belts because Yu Gi Oh! Really? Okay, if we're looking at volume four, five, and six, if anything, Ying Xiao Long, I don't know, man. Don't, uh, this one, clearly, right? This is the one. That one. Weiss. That's the one. Really? Okay. To be fair, I'm also biased. In all fair, uh, if I can actually. Uh, Cinder. To be fair, I am also biased, in which I actually like Cinder. Cinder is probably my favorite character, and I like her art. Very, or her arc, her character arc, right? Very specifically, because she does not give a shit. Cinder would have so much potential if she actually cared. If she actually had a transformation arc. She had a horrible past, but is actively choosing to make a, uh, a a more horrible future, to play the victim. It's almost like she has multi-dimensions as a character. So, there. That's my Oshi, oh, quote-unquote. God damn, dude. Weiss? Ah. She's bratty. She gets better. <laughs> Read the fanfics. Skip the fanfics. Go straight to the douches. You know what? Fair enough, man. I'm kind of getting mid-vibes. <laughs> I want you to know... I actually spelt it S-I-N-D-E-R before I actually spelt it actually correctly. Okay. Oh, honestly, Monica, my favorite DDLC girl, but I've got the same kind of feelings that I had with Junko. She's f***ing crazy. <laughs> Not the waifu. Who the f*** is this? A man? Send him to the do not post channel and have his it's exploded. I mean, pee pee. He can double jump. I don't care. <laughs> If he goes, then so do I. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, hello, Velvet. Hi, I'm Cinder. Her story's dark, but she's hella cool. Tragic backstory cliche is too common. Who would frame a- Like, so here's the thing. A story can be common. Like, I literally- So, so I played through Final Fantasy 14, right? Bro, I called so much stuff in that story. It is so predictable. That doesn't make it any less good. If the writing's good, that's all that matters, okay? Xenos! Viator Galvis, literally my favorite character in fiction, because the man makes sense, okay? I agree with the man in a lot of aspects, okay? He makes sense as somebody who is a neurospicy individual by, by all metrics and is, is broken. Who is broken? I love Xenos. Xenos is mwah, chef's kiss. Why isn't Xenos on this list? God damn it. VTuber debut around something like that. That's so funny. That's... It's crazy. <laughs> she seems a very sweet smooch because she needs it. Whoa, what? Ibuki? Big sword, check. Horns, check. Pretty, check. Is there a dub swimsuit? Nice. 
<laughs> okay, I really appreciate you guys sending in your waifus for me to rank and judge. It was really cool to see what kind of shows and games that my community really, really likes. <laughs> Such a good video, dude. You know what? I'm a little disappointed. There wasn't a Firefly from Honkai Star Rail submission. Where's my Firefly representation? <laughs> I'm obviously shitposting. This was great. Uh, it's it's all fun and games until Kip eventually does a waifu tier list, and then I'm going to get absolutely ratioed by the internet. Let's be real. To be fair, I'm going to get ratioed in this exact video by people being like, Cinder? <laughs> <laughs> to the same question, the same degree of question that I had for Weiss, okay? Just, that's just the part that confuses me. I feel her Volume 7 outfit is just way, like, objectively better. Like, she is just vanilla princess, 456. Now she actually has inner strength, Volume 7 forward. Like, I, I don't know, man, that's weird. I'll do a waifu tier list at some point, probably. But, but most importantly... If you have ch not checked out Cinder, Cinder VTuber, not Cinder Fall, Cinder VTuber, <laughs> definitely go ahead and check her out in the description down below. I have linked for your convenience the channel as well as this original video. Definitely please go check them out. I, I love the work that they do. They're just super positive. And I have to have a lot of really hard discussions on the channel. I have to have a lot of really uh, potentially negative discussions because of certain things. She is streaming right now, yes. Um, but yes. Definitely go check her out. She is on Twitch over as well. Wink, wink. <laughs> and thank you everyone for watching. I do appreciate it. See you in the next one.